Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars, admiring the beautiful light. Almost January 2017 now, the end of December 2016. Nice, huh? Beautiful. It's an interesting light, very subtle, very pure. And so I just had a story for you based on something that happened, uh, I think it was yesterday. Uh, it was an astral story that happened yesterday. And this is, uh, this is a story about the old days at the beginning of the shift when there used to be what some people called smash and grab by Team Dark, right? And so something reminiscent of that happened yesterday or the day before. And um, it's just I'd, I'd like to explain since the demons and devils and so forth, all the big um, fiefdom owners in the cities and so forth are gone from Earth because of the, the quality of the incoming light and the change in the energy of planet Earth, uh, why it is that something like that still might be happen, happening. And so what you have to do is you have to imagine that there's a hunter, a man who hunts for a living and lives in Siberia. And, uh, and he goes around through all of the far reaches of the, of the tundra the, and the forest in Siberia, setting traps, traps for hares, laid with um, sprung down branches and little um, loop ropes, lo ropes that could uh, set with, um, held down with, uh, is it spring mechanisms, I think, with, with um, uh, sticks or else maybe with rocks, right? And with a little something in the middle so that when the hare steps in, uh, the the trigger is set and the hair goes up in the air far away from predators that might eat it and just in the right place for the hunter who comes along and picks them all up and puts them on his dog sled, right? So, so the hand, hunter set all of these snares and these snares are like the layers and lying in wait malware set uh, in our own electromagnetic field by the dark, by Team Dark in ancient days and in recent times up until 2012. And so then, sometime later, the hunter is going through the Siberian wilderness looking for all of the hares, all that were caught. And he falls down, and he breaks his left leg, and he, he can't get up again. So what we have there, we have many, many snares set and waiting for hares to walk into. And the hares are like humans these days, and there is no one to pick them up and carry them away if they're caught except for the light. It's the light that dissolves the snares. All right? So the traps are still being set automatically because they were set in place and prepared by Team Dark in the ancient days. All right? But the number of them is less and less. Every time the new light comes in with the solar flares and the, and the solar winds, more and more of them just disappear from Earth. And that's the story.